So today here in Stanley's Corner, I am going to personally show you how to turn one of these, which is a gas-powered blowtorch, into a flamethrower very safely. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't speak. Oh, I'm kind of parched. Uh, so anyways, if you have one of these flamethrowers, I mean a blowtorch, gas-powered, you must have one of these. This is a fire extinguisher. And if you start, <clears throat> I might need to go get something to drink here in a second. But if you have one of these and it does start a fire, just by chance in your house, <clears throat> you will be needing one of these. And <clears throat> I like good old products made in USA. Even my fire extinguisher is made in USA. Yes, sir, it is. So, want to have one of these? You must have one of these. All right, I like good old products made in USA. And I do believe that this blowtorch is made in USA. It is a wall superior product in Grove City, Pennsylvania, USA. Right here. This is GTG Good to Go. Since 1864. And you know, people in back in 1864 in America, they was all about safety. So you know this is a safe product to use. It's not gonna blow up on you. I think. Well, let's hope not. Not today, anyways. And uh, not any other time soon coming up, because you know, I use this bad boy. And ladies, these gas powered blow torches ain't just for men no more. You know, you have to uh, cook. With, the, with, uh, with gas, you know, on your stove or electricity. But these things right here, you can make a quick meal. You can make a quick snack. You can make hot dogs. With, you can cook a hot dog on a fork real quick. You can cook a sausage on a fork real quick. Um, some people even like bologna. Fried up bologna, fired up, heated up bologna. Sandwiches. You can even, uh, you know, I've, I've made grilled cheeses with this on a spatula. With this bad boy right here. So, ladies, don't think a gas-powered blowtorch is just for men. You can, this thing is so compact, ladies, you can put it in your purse. I don't have a purse for, you know, have, I don't have a purse to show you how it, it fits in there, but I'm sure it will. And, uh, gentlemen, you can put, this thing is so compact right here, that you can put it in your overcoat. You know, walk around, and nobody will even know that you have a gas-powered blowtorch on you. But, just in, uh, on such occasions that you have, maybe you go into a barbecue and nobody has a match or a, a lighter and you can say, oh man, I got me a gas fire blowtorch, it's gonna start that fire right up. Maybe you go into a party and they have a, a, a fire pit in their backyard and nobody has such a, of equipment to start that fire pit on fire or light the fire in general. And you say, you pull this one out. And you say, oh, I'll start that fire, lickety split. And that's what you do. You start fires, you heat things up. You know, I, I have, a, I use this on a daily basis um, for my personal use. You know, uh, I bust, uh, you have a rusty nut or a bolt. Maybe you even have an old rusty vice, like like such one right here. You know, just uh, where you go, where? Maybe you have an old rusty vice like this. This is a blacksmith's vise, and uh, it was kind of froze up, all rusted and, and such. And, but I had to uh, fire it up just to just to get it loose, and so I can use it, which I use it on occasions, you know, for various reasons, like hammering, uh, bending steel, bending steel. I, I you know, take a take a big old, good old trusty hammer, put your steel in here, pound on it. But it is freed up now. I can use it anytime I feel like it. And it works. So anyways, moving right along on how to use this as a flamethrower very safely, make sure you have one of these handy. You gotta make sure this is handy because otherwise you're being unsafe. So here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna use this guy as an experimental piece. You know, he's been set on fire a few times and He's had a couple accidents here. As you can tell, he, he's missing his hands. 
You know, we, we was doing a knife experiment and uh, we couldn't stop the bleeding in time, so we had to cut off his hands. But this here, trusty zip ties. Now, just by chance, you like to play with knives or, uh, you know, saws, and you uh, have a minor cut or maybe even a major gash, and you are bleeding and you can't stop it, zip ties. Put them together wherever you're bleeding, zip it up, and the bleeding will stop. All right, zip ties. Don't forget that. You got to have them around, laying around somewhere, too. Okay, so here we go. Flame toil. Ordinary gas powered blowtorch. All right, so what I do here is I, you know, see this, this is a pump. This, this ain't your on and off, on and off switch, but this is a pump, and this here is your on and off switch right here. I mean, it's not a switch, it's a, it's a uh, knob. There's on, whoa, hey, we're already ready. We're squirting gas everywhere. We better uh, uh, not point the, the fire that way because, uh, you know, we don't want to start a fire over there. We're going to try to set this guy on fire. And we will do that right now. I'm going to pump it up twice. Oh, maybe, maybe four times. And we're going to make sure that we got gasoline squaring out, which we did have it over there. But I'm going I'm to make sure that I hit this guy with, uh, with some gas. Let's see what happens, folks. Oh, that was beautiful. He got squirted with gasoline. Uh, very, very good. Very, uh, coated him with gasoline. So let's, let's, let's go just back a little bit. Yeah, that looks far enough away. And far enough away from that gas that, that, that accidentally got squirted over there. So anyways, you might need a, a, a big lighter. Also made in good old USA. So let's, let's give it a shot. Here we go. We're going to try to set him on fire right now with an ordinary blowtorch. And we're going to turn this blowtorch into a flamethrower. Here we go. Let's see what happens. We're going to light it up. Whoa. Oh, there he goes. He's on, he's on fire. Let's, let's give that another shot. Oh, yeah. Flamethrower. And uh, uh, people, sometimes, you know, the, the fire just might be so small, especially gasoline, that you might not need this. But please, don't try to smoke four packs a day and think you have the lung capacity to blow a fire out like that like I just did. Because I don't, I don't smoke four packs a day. I smoke one pack a day. And I do have a little bit of lung capacity. I, could, I just blew it out, as you can tell. All right. So... Here we go again. See? Just, he's been on fire once. I just blew the fire out. So uh, here we go once again. Just show you, just to make sure that you all know. Light the lighter. Flame door. And see how I just blew that out? And it, it, we can do it again. Yeah. Flamethrower. Ah, 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 ah. Quality products since 1864. Been around and we'll keep on being around. Thank you very much for enjoying. I hope you enjoyed the video.